Hey guys. I want you guys to do something for me, okay? I want you guys to try to add this up to see how this makes sense. And I want you guys to think back to about the year... Uh, about 2009, maybe? I think that's when it came out. Anyway, anyway, anyway. anyway. This all has something to do with a franchise that hasn't really had any, you know, hasn't really had any good games since about 2000 and, uh, 2003, maybe 2004, I want to say. I want to say that. Anyway, this has to do with the years 1999 and 2009, okay? Okay. Okay, good. Now, I want you to think back. I want you guys to put yourselves in the mindset of someone who has, play, who has played the game Silent Hill Shattered Memories, which is available on the Nintendo Wii and the PS2. And I want you guys to think back to, those, to that game, okay? Keep that in mind, okay? Okay. Now, the game came, now that game came out in 2009, okay? That's why I said keep that year in mind, okay? Okay, good, 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 okay. Now, Sybil says something in the game, near the end of the game, that kind of contradicts the whole, the whole, the whole game, the whole series in the games. The first game came out in... 1999. Therefore, what si what I'm about to say, what, what Sybil's words are, do not make sense. Sybil said the guy that she's been talking to believes he is Harry Mason. Heck, she believes he is Harry Mason, but there's only one problem with that. Now, here's the problem. Now, here's where I get terribly confused, okay? According to what Sybil said, when she pulled up the file on Harry Mason at the police at the police station, Harry Mason died in a car crash eighteen years ago. Okay, do you guys see? You guys see where I'm going with this? Two thousand nine minus eighteen years would put it back in the year nineteen ninety one, eight years before the events of the first game took place. So is it possible the right is it possible the whoever wrote the dialogue meant to write ten years ago? Or is it possible that, you know, that Sybil's voice actress, whoever it was, misspoke? I don't know. That's why I want to hear from you guys. Okay? So keep the year keep the years in mind. 1999, 2009. And the series and the franchise is the Silent Hill series. I want you to keep Silent Hill One and Silent Hill Shattered Memories in your mind when you're thinking about this. Okay, this is something I want you guys to think about. What? Okay. Anyway, let me say. Let me rephrase that. I want you guys to. I want you guys to to figure out how this makes sense because I can't add this up. The only part I got figured out is. Either Sybil Bennett, either Sybil Bennett's voice actress, either Sybil misspoke, and she meant to say ten years ago, or she meant, or she, or the dialogue, or they just completely screwed the dialogue up when they translated it to America. Okay, so I want you guys to try to figure this one out because I can't figure this one out. I have no idea. Okay. Again, I want you guys to give me what you guys think happened there, okay? When Sybil said, I, I told you I pulled your file at the police station. I told you that, right? Heck, I believe you are Harry Mason. Heck, you think you are Harry Mason, but there's one problem. Harry Mason died in a car crash 18 years ago. And that game came out in 2009. So, how does that make sense? 
when the first game came out in 1999 and Shattered Memories came out 10 years later in 2009, how does that make sense, you guys? Huh? So, I don't know how that makes sense because it doesn't. If you guys have any have any idea of how that makes sense, let me know how that makes any kind of sense. Because it doesn't, okay? It just doesn't. No matter how hard I try, I cannot figure out how it makes sense for the first game to come out in 1999, Shattered Memories come out, comes out 10 years later, and that's supposed to be a reimagining of the first game. And yet, Sybil near the end says that Harry's dead? And... Yet, the guy she's talking to is Harry Mason? How does that make sense, you guys? I mean, seriously, give, give me your thoughts. Alright? Okay. So, guys, if you guys... You, okay, guys, let me explain. Okay. Yeah, I decided to... I decided that maybe it might be a good idea, you know, if I just take some... If I just, you know, took some time off. You know, to clear my head because right now I, uh, yeah, I've been, let's just say I've been dealing with some personal issues. I'm not going to go into detail about it, okay? That's all you need to know. And I will, and if, and if you guys do have, and if, and guys, I do love you guys. I care about you all, but. You know, there are some times, guys, when I really do need your help, okay? I really do need your help. And the help I need is for you guys to help me, okay? You guys can help me by letting me know what you guys think, what you guys want, okay? Okay. 